the lateral approach. The lateral approach, similar to the medial approach, can be utilized for the medial meniscus, repair of the arcuate complex, and perineal nerve decompression as it pertains to the biceps tendon. Again, layers are important. I think that's the more testable question here, or testable uh, question. There are three layers. Layer one is the IT band and the biceps. Remember, the perineal nerve is located posterior to the biceps tendon. I'll emphasize that again in a later slide. Layer two contains the patellofemoral ligament, the patella retinaculum. Layer three has a lateral collateral ligament, the arcuate complex. Here, the important part of this slide is really the inner nervous plane. When we talk about the IT band and the biceps femoris, the IT band is innervated by the gluteal, the superior gluteal nerve. The biceps is innervated by the sciatic nerve posteriorly. Again, the deep dissection of the lateral approach can be utilized to address the meniscus as well as the uh, the the uh, uh, the bone, and most importantly, for an orthopedic for a joint surgeon, we could talk about a a um, identification and release of the perineal nerve in someone who has perineal nerve entrapment following total knee arthroplasty. Here are the dangers that can be highlighted. Again, it's the common perineal nerve because it is located in the posterior border of the biceps femoris. You can track it up more proximally and then come around distally and identify it as it comes around the fibular head. The popliteal artery is at risk during the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus and obviously the vessels as we mentioned previously. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.